So what I want to make this episode about is finding really cool things in everyday life that can make her beautiful portraits. Um, you know what? Can I do a little diffu diffuser on the back of her hair? It's a layering shot, like compositionally, which, you know, you may not be excited about now, but later, boy, will you be excited. All right, let me get out of my own way. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> look, gorgeous. Look at that. Oh <laughs> look how lovely you look. If you enjoyed that, let's jump over into On One Photo Raw and start playing. There were so many amazing options of where to shoot when I was running around the city with London and she was great to work with in terms of just responsive and funny and silly. But I'm pulling up one of the images that I think really show um, one of the things I think On One 2020 is great at. So um, having used On One for a while now, by the time we got to this release, Photo Raw 2020, um, for me, this was one of those releases that incorporated so many of the things that I had been hoping to see and kind of launched this to the top before I would work with some Photoshop and with Lightroom and On One. Um, but now I'm almost primarily working just with On One and sometimes bumping in and out uh, with uh, plugins with the other two softwares, but mostly on one. And it's for a few key reasons. One, I love this AI auto function that's in the develop mode. Um, this has made my life so much easier. What a dramatic shift from this to this. Like it just dials it in. It finds the parts that you need. Um, it keeps the image looking strong. I've had many experiences with Camera Raw and other apps where you hit auto and you think, uh, no, not at all. Why would I choose that? So I think uh, this auto option is fantastic in terms of being able to create um, a wonderful place to start from. Um, the, the couple of things I'd like to shift. One, I'm going to bring the highlights back a little bit. I love that the highlights are managing those bright spots around the image. But I want to be able to do that in a bit more of a targeted way because having a strong highlight correction on skin tone is not that appealing. Um, here with the jacket, the vibrance pulled up really has a big effect on that. So I'm going to pull that down. Again, I'm going to be a little more careful about how I target those isolated parts of the image. Um, so I'm going to just jump right to that. I'm going to go right into local adjustments. I'm going to add this adjustment here as a brush, probably bring the brush up just a little bit more. And I'm going to brush in the parts of the highlights I want to see manage. So I'm going to bring that here. 
and actually bring that exposure up just a little bit more. I want a little underexposed effect for the brush, but I'm just going to start brushing in the parts of the image that I do want managed, avoiding skin tone and such. Um, I'm going to bring this down a little bit here. I'm going to add another adjustment that really just hits those parts. And the first uh, effect I was a little more wide sweeping here. I'm going to bring the brush down and just hit some of these parts pretty strongly like this and this and this. Got to watch her face there just a little bit. I don't want that little line. It luckily fixes that. And then I'm going to bring that back just a hair. I don't want it to be too much. But yes, so overall, that's a great effect for me. Um, you can see just looking at the highlight parts of the image where we started and how much that gets managed. The next thing, of course, is to add an adjustment for her. So she's quite backlit. We used the diffuser to manage some of the backlighting on her hair. It was all, because it was so bright, it was all just blown out. Um, so the diffuser certainly helped with that, but I'd like to fill in some of the light that I would have added if I had more time to really dial in that fill light. So I'm going to just go here, like this would be about around where the flash would hit in terms of a fill flash. Obviously that's a really strong effect. Um, I can either change these little adjustments here um, or the overall slider. And I'm going to bring this up and then just manage the overall slider. So that means I'm going to manage how much light comes in both ways. And that's about right. So you can see before and after. It's just kind of where that spotlight would have hit with a flash. Um, I'm going to jump over into portrait mode. Uh, what I love about the portrait mode in On One 2020 is we've got, not only does it find the face for me, which I very much appreciate, um, but we just, the, the sliders we have, the ability to um, quickly change things here and um, be able to play with more and more. I, I just, I love where this is heading. Um, all right, I'm going to zoom in on this image, come into about here. Yep, hold the space key down and I can use this little hand thing to get right to where I want, which is this. I'm going to put, um, it's going to pop it in real quick and I'm going to hit the skin and you can see right away, we're going to smooth out those issues caused by the highlights. You see before and after. It's subtle. She doesn't need a lot, but it does manage some of what we put in there with the overall highlighting effect. I'm going to follow the instructions, click in the middle of the eye. You know, just I don't need to work too much here. Uh, basically, how far away the image is shot, what a smaller part of the image the subject is, the less I really worry about this level of detail. If this were a close up like this and that was the whole frame, I'd care a lot more. But you often can't see a lot of this from pretty far away. So this is, you can see the effect here before and after. Um, if she were an adult, I might play up the lips a little bit more, but for children, I typically don't worry about that. I'm gonna pull out. Um, the next thing I love, 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 love is sun glow. I'm gonna hit that. That's under sunshine. Go over here into more. And that's just so, so pretty. Um, I think that has a really nice dramatic effect. And the green, I wanna bring out this green and I can do it one of several ways. I can just go into local adjustments and paint that in. Um, or I can go into color enhancer and just focus on this foliage, this green part. And you can see right up there, if you look over at those greens before and after, it really highlights the green, green, green. I'm gonna bring that back a little bit more. I'm gonna add back in some of the overall sunshine, the natural, just to keep that kind of warm. And then I'm gonna do exactly that, bring up the warmth. And there I ended up getting all those kind of layers of exactly what I wanted. The last thing I'm going to do is just have my overall subject pop out in this uh, natural dynamic contrast. Yeah, that's, you can see that before and after, just kind of, just a really pretty pop. And if I'm looking at this image overall, I'm just going to do a little bit of a crop right here. right here, 
right here. I can obviously keep going on with this image as much as I want. I can perfect erase this out. I can kind of hit these little marks more and more. There's really, <laughs> I could keep going, but in um, for the interest of getting this part done, this is the after image and this is the before image. So what we did overall is we brightened up the, the overall image. We brought some of that sun glow, that dreamy effect in. We highlighted the colors while still managing the ones we didn't want to manage. And we ended up with just a gorgeous image.